wife and his only child. Because he, they always seated and dread sharp, sharply, which seated man perfectly. And, and the oil lamp provided light for the not well finished room, which looked sharp as well. Now that the cocoa has been drowned in poverty, I'm going to come to complete the marriage right for you to come in wife fully. I suggest you accept Obikwe's proposal to marry you. He's a very wealthy farmer and I take good care of you. Oh yeah. What is the meaning of that, Papa? That we should return to Foko's part of, the, of my right rights because he's having financial difficulties. Of course, Obikwe provided all the money that I used in paying my hospital bills the last time that I had and he will help and Opoko, and Opoko who claims to be my son in law cannot provide a cobo. Is that how you going to tell you on my own child for me? Wait, Mama, did you hear what Papa is saying? Did you see what he's trying to do? Oh, <laughs> my daughter. Your father meant well for you. He doesn't want to go to a person's house and start feeding from hand to mouth. Can't you see clearly again? Everyone, see what mama, see what mama, that a cuckoo is for or what? You should remember that you used to bring money for our upkeep. Then, before you started having That was in the past, my daughter. And the devil made us also understand that old things have passed away. Don't, don't mind the children of, of this time. They will never pay attention to the truth until they step on a fire and get their toes badly burned before they turn back to the truth. That is it, Nani. Remember that someone who is married today can come in tomorrow. I know that it's because of Obikwe's money that that is the reason why you would want me to marry him. But I will never marry him, no matter what. I would rather die. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to bed. <laughs>